Hey everyone, welcome back to our kitchen. My name is Emily and this is Lauren and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. We love using our slow cookers to make simple meals, so today we're making an easy Asian-inspired meal. That's right, Emily. Today we're making sweet and sour chicken, um, which is, I think, everybody's probably takeout favorite. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but today we're making it a little bit better for us, which is also great. And we're making it really quick by using our slow cooker. Yeah, so let's get started. So we're gonna get started on our sauce first. And to get started on our sauce, we're gonna mix a little bit of cornstarch with cold water. That's key because if you're using a little bit warmer water, you actually um, have the tendency to form lumps and we don't want a lumpy sauce. Definitely not. So we're just whisking this together. This is gonna thicken up our sauce. I think this is this is Perfect. pretty good. Ready All to right. Go. So then our other sauce ingredients, we have a little bit of tamari. We're using lower sodium tamari sauce, which is a gluten-free soy sauce. If you don't need to eat gluten-free, again, you can also use regular soy sauce as well. Um, then the next ingredient, we're gonna use ketchup, which might sound like surprising that we'd be using ketchup, but yeah. I actually took uh, an Asian cooking class and this is what they use in their, their recipes for their restaurant as well. So um, we're adding some ketchup for some a little bit of sweetness and umami. All right, and then we're gonna add a little bit of cider vinegar. I love that this is such a simple sauce recipe. I think that's like the most intimidating part right. for a lot of these things is how do I make the sauce? Do I do a store-bought sauce? But this is so simple. Right, and most of these things are pantry staples, so you really don't need a whole lot of ingredients like you were saying. So then to add a little bit more flavor, we're gonna add a little bit of ground ginger. Now there's just a little bit that we're adding to this dish, so maybe if you don't keep ginger on hand, you could mm -hmm. also go to our bulk spice section in our natural and organic department and buy just the amount you need. And you could use fresh too if you want a little bit more of that ginger yep, flavor. Definitely. All right, and then do you want to pour your, your cornstarch in here? Yeah, stop thickening it up a little bit. Perfect. And I'm just going to give this a whisk, and that's our sauce. Excellent. So easy. So the next part is we're going to mix together more of the bulk of our sweet and sour recipe. So we have chicken thighs that we've just sliced up. You could definitely use chicken breasts as well. Yep. Um, then we're gonna add in some onion that we've chopped up. We've got some peppers. We're using yellow and orange today, but you could use green peppers, red peppers, mm -hmm. whatever you have on hand. Definitely. You could also use other vegetables as well. Um, maybe some broccoli would be good in this oh, recipe. Oh yeah, that would be delicious. And then for our sweet part, we're using canned pineapple. Mm -hmm. We are huge proponents of that all forms matter, so it doesn't matter if a fruit or a vegetable is fresh, frozen, canned, dried, 100% juice, they all count. Yes, and this is canned in 100% juice, so this is a great option. Definitely. So those are all of our ingredients. We're just gonna pour this sauce over the top and give this a good mix. Hand this to you. Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Use my tongs to mix this up. And what I love that we're doing with this recipe, as Emily mentioned earlier, is we're cooking this in the slow cooker. I love to use the slow cooker, throw in all the ingredients that I need for a meal right before I leave for work in the morning, and then have a nice warm meal when I get home. And your house smells amazing. You walk yes. in the door yes. and it's like, oh, dinner time. All right, so we would put this in the slow cooker for about six hours on low or four hours on high. And we have some that's already done, as you can see, and I'm gonna Looks take this delicious. back. And so you could serve this over maybe quinoa, or we're actually gonna be serving it over brown rice, so a whole grain. Um, this is steam fresh brown rice from our frozen department. It takes about five minutes to cook in the microwave, so really easy way to get a serving of whole grains. And this looks awesome. It does, and it smells amazing. And all Wish those you could smell it. flavors have come together throughout the day. Excellent. So I'm gonna Yum. Make sure I get you some sauce on here. Thank you. Yum. Looks amazing. This looks like takeout. This looks better than takeout. <laughs> I think so. Well, we made it. So. We'll have to see how it tastes. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> get some of the chicken in here. Mm. Better than takeout. Definitely. <laughs> Well, we hope you give this simple slow cooker meal a try. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit festfoods.com.